Which is getting bigger faster, files or storage? Whatever the answer to that is, I would sincerely doubt that zip files are going anywhere anytime soon. Zip files do a great job of making a folder into a single file that takes up less space than the folder would, making it perfect for downloading things from the internet. It's a format whose usefulness has proven itself for years and will continue to for a very long time. But how? Hi folks, it's Falcon. And today on Waste Time, we ask the question, how do zip files work? So zip files, let's talk about how they work. And roll up your sleeves, because this is not basics. In fact, while I think we can make it into an easy to understand concept, we do need to hit some basics first. I'm talking about bits and bytes. And no, I don't mean biting off a bit of a sandwich, I mean the data terms. And I don't think you thought that I meant we were talking about sandwiches. But if you were, why? Okay, so whether you're aware of it or not, everything that has ever been written in a computer can be broken down to ones and zeros. Every single character, the one or the zero, is a bit. The ones and zeros are grouped into little clusters that tell the computer what it's looking at. Is this group of ones and zeros the letter A? Well, you would need a group of them to know that. Those groups are called bytes. Bytes are made up of eight bits, so a byte is a small group of eight ones and zeros. So every file that you've ever downloaded, sent, created, saved, edited, whatever, is on its most basic level ones and zeros grouped into clusters of eight. So being that every character is essentially a code of ones and zeros, meaning your computer goes, okay, it, uh, zero one, zero zero one, blah, 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 means the dollar sign, and no, that's not accurate because blah 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 is not a one or a zero. Every single character takes up actually eight characters, eight ones and zeros. Now this means there can be an amount of up to eight figures of characters, but there generally isn't. Most languages don't have that many characters in them, but that's actually fairly irrelevant. When your computer reads a file, it always has to read it this way. There's no way around it. There's no special way to read a file that changes is it no matter what, you have to deal with the reality of bits and bytes. Every character takes up a set amount of space, and every file's length becomes bigger or smaller at a definite set scale. You add a character, it's eight more bits. It's one more byte. You take one away, it's one less byte. Eight less bits. I think that this is a pretty clear explanation of exactly how files work. So how do zip files work? Zip files are obviously inherently different because they take up less space by a lot sometimes. And we just said you can't get around the way that computers read files. It's not possible. You can't change what a file is. If you did, you'd have to create an entirely new computational system. And what's the point? When literally every single computer, every single operating system, everything is all boiled down to ones and zeros, grouped in clusters of eight, what can you do? You can't change the laws of physics. And even though this data is stored virtually, it's still physics. So what do we do? We create what is called a cipher. Have you ever seen the Da Vinci Code? Tom Hanks doesn't spend the whole movie sad about crashing a plane and being investigated by a made-up agency. No, actually what he does in the Da Vinci Code is searches for a cipher because he has a code, but he can't crack the code without the cipher. Similarly, if you've ever seen a Christmas story, Ralphie's decoder ring is a cipher, and a zip file works on similar principles. So imagine you take the letter A. In a regular file, it takes up eight characters. But imagine you created a system that could store abbreviated versions of bytes, numerically, obviously, that you couldn't necessarily run the files from, but with the assistance of a cipher, could translate it back to its original state and run it. That's exactly what a zip file does. What zip files do is figured out what the most common byte is in a file. What is repeated the most in your folder or large file. Is it an A? Is it an exclamation mark? I mean, if it's the most common thing that you used in your file that you actually need to zip, the exclamation mark might be something you want to back off of a little bit, but still, what it does is just figures out which is the most used byte in your file. And what it does is creates a list from most used to least used. The most used is replaced with a single bit, not byte, bit. 
1. The second most used is replaced with 0, 1, which takes up 2 bits. The third most common is replaced with 0, 0, 1, 3 bits, and so on and so forth, until it stops actually helping, of course, once letters and numbers and things are so uncommon, they're just stored as bytes. If they can't pack them into something, there's no reason to. The zip file then acts as a cipher, telling the computer which bytes have been compressed into singular, smaller strings of bits, and how to read the file. A zip file can also act as multiple ciphers, telling the computer that this area of the file 01 means this character, and in this area of the file 01 means another character. Essentially, it breaks it down algorithmically into smaller sections that it can then break down into smaller amounts of bytes by compressing bytes into bits or small numbers of bits. I know, it sounds really, really confusing, but it's not magical. A compressed folder isn't actually just like a closed accordion. There has to be some sort of mathematical way in order to accomplish the compression, and it's actually a very clever way to do it, figuring out essentially a code to tell you what kind of code should go here. That's what it essentially boils down to. Hey, so this string of numbers actually represents three strings of numbers, but you have to read it a different way, computer. And obviously, a compressed string of numbers takes up less space, which is the desired effect. But obviously, again, you cannot run any of this at all. You can't open it, you can't really do anything to it without turning it back into the original file. Like I said, you can't get around how bits and bytes work, but you can store them differently, more efficiently. I mean, unless you have a really complex file where there's not much repetition, in which case, this is totally useless. But if you've tried to zip a file like that, you already know. Why didn't it zip? Why can't I get it smaller? Stupid zip. More like crap. Crap file. Yeah. Now I know you set out to waste your time here on Waste Time, but I have a feeling that wasn't actually a waste. If you have any further questions, we'll be looking at the comments. I would say that this is actually a pretty good basic understanding of the issue, though. And you may never look at the zip files in the same way again. Ooh. If you enjoyed this video, if it did help you, please click like. And if you're not subscribed, please do so now. It's a very good time to. We upload brand new videos to this channel all the time. And we thank you very much for watching this specific one. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. And we'll see you next time right here on Waste Time.